Hello everyone, once again it's Robert with SparkFun Electronics. It's Friday, so that means we have more new products to talk about, so let's see what we have for this week. Here we've got the eagerly anticipated new version of the Nindoff Razor. The major revision that we've done with this board is instead of the dual axis gyro and the single axis gyro, we've actually gotten rid of those and done a ITG 3200 triple axis gyro. So it saved a little bit of space on the board. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller and it still has the battery header, the programming header, and the FTDI header, but it's just a little bit smaller. So if you're looking to get the Nindoff Razor, check out the new smaller version. If you have a project where you need to measure the voltage and the current, you might want to look at the Addo Pilots. The Addo Pilots are something we've been selling for a little bit now, but we've only been selling the 90 amp version. Now we have a 45 amp and a 180 amp, so you can measure pretty much anything you want. It's a really small board, it's simple to hook up, simple to use, and we've got a little demo, so let's see what that looks like. So here we've got a really simple demo set up to show you what you can do with the Addo Pilot board. We've got a 5 volt power supply that can supply up to 250 watts, which is plenty for this application. We've got that running directly into the Addo Pilot module, and we've got that being read into an Arduino, so we can just read the values coming out of there. And then we've got it into this kind of basic rudimentary quadcopter frame, which has four motors on it. And then we have an LCD, so you can see the readout. And so when we power this up, we're going to be able to see how much voltage and how much amperage is running through to these motors. So let's turn it on. As you can see, the values are displayed right there. And this is just simple demo code that we have on the website for all three of the different versions of the Addo Pilot. And if you check out the data sheet, you can see exactly how to read it into your microcontroller. So we have a lot of books here at SparkFun, but none of them really pertain directly to e-textiles. This new book, Open Software, does exactly that. It talks about Arduino, other types of hardware, specifically for wearable technology or e-textiles. It has a lot of really great examples, tells you what code to use, and if you're interested in using Arduino or LilyPad specifically for wearables, this is a really interesting book because everything is focused towards exactly that. So this is a good book to get you started in e-textiles. So these are my top picks for this week. As always, we have more new products on the website, so check out the whole rest of the new product post for everything else that we have this week, and we'll see you again next week with another new product post.